Hello everybody, my name is Taylor and this is Chit Chat Thursdays with Taylor. In today's episode, I have a special guest, Devin Bellman. Hey Devin, how have you been? Hi Taylor, I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing awesome. Good, good. What topic are we going to discuss today? Well Taylor, today we're going to discuss what to do if you see someone having a seizure. Wow, I want to learn about this, so let's get to it. Tell me Devin, what do you do if you see someone having a seizure? Well first, let's discuss what not to do Wait, when you see someone having a seizure. And that's leave the person laying on their back. Do you know why? No, I do not know why. Well, you don't want them to choke. Lots of times when people have a seizure, they produce excess fluid in their mouth and you don't want them to breathe that into their lungs. So what do I do? Well, you want to try to put, don't want to try to put anything in their mouth either. Because they would probably choke, right? They would choke and you would get hurt in the process. What do you think the most important thing is you don't want to do? We don't need to panic. That's right, Taylor. You don't want to panic. Okay, we have to talk about what not to do. Now, what are we supposed to do? So first, you're going to want to turn the person on their side so they don't choke. And next, you're going to want to try to loosen any tight clothing they may have around their neck especially and put something soft under their head and then you stay with a person and keep them safe. Do you know why you need to stay with them? To make sure they don't hurt themselves. Right. You want to stay with them so they don't wander into a dangerous situation and because they tend to be very unsteady after they have a seizure and can hurt themselves. Finally, you want to call 911 if the seizure lasts longer than five minutes, if it's their first seizure or if the seizure happened in water. Well, this is some great information that will really help me out if I see someone or even a friend or family member having a seizure. I now know what to do, and I think our audience now knows what to do now, too. Thank you, Devin, for talking about how, what to do and what not to do when someone's having a seizure. No problem. And for more information, please check us out at www.usm.edu. Like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications on your subscription feed so you can see new episodes of Chit Chat Thursday with Taylor. Also, do not forget to like the main IDS Facebook page as well. My name is Taylor, signing out. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Chit Chat Thursdays with Taylor. Please look forward to the next part of this episode coming soon. Bye.